Hi everyone, I am Mr. Nubi Ganga Devi, Assistant Professor in Commerce CA, School of Commerce, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Now we are going to see about Insurance and Risk Management. Introduction Insurance may be described as a social device to reduce or eliminate risk or loss to life and property. Insurance provides financial protection against a loss arising out of happening of an uncertain event. A person can avail this protection by paying premium to an insurance company. A pool is created through contribution made by persons seeking to protect themselves from common risk. So premium is collected by insurance company which is also accepted trustee to the pool. Insurance works on the basic principles of risk sharing. So it is the advantage of insurance that it spread the risk of few people, a larger group of people exposed to risk of similar type. So insurance is a contract. A contract is an agreement which is enforceable by law. Therefore, agreement plus enforceability is equal to contract. Thus, a contract essentially creates a set of mutual rights and obligation between the parties. If one of the parties fails to fulfill his obligation under a contract, the contract is said to be breached. Insurance origin and its type. Insurance in modern form of originated in the Mediterranean during 13th, 14th century. The earliest reference to insurance has been found in Babylonia, Greeks and the Roman. The use of insurance appeared in the account of North Italian Merchant Bank who then dominated the international trade in Europe that time. Marine insurance is the oldest form of insurance followed by the life insurance and fire insurance. The patterns that have been used in England followed in other countries also in these kinds of insurance. In insurance, the terminologies are used insurer or insurance company. The agency involved in insurance business is known as insurer. Insured assured the person who get his property life insured known as insured policy. The agreement or contract which is put in writing is known as policy. Premium, the consideration in a return of which the insurer undertakes to make goods the loss or give a certain amount in case of life insurance is known as a premium. Now we are going to see about characteristics of an idle insurable risk. There are some of the characteristics are there must be a large number of exposure units. The loss must be accidental and unintentional. The loss must be determinable and measurable. The loss should not be catastrophic. The change of the chance of loss must be calculable. The premium must be economically feasible. Next, the role and importance of insurance. It provides safety and security. It generates financial resources. Its life insurance encourages savings. It promotes economic growth in medical support also and spreading of a risk. Its sources of collecting funds. Next, we are going to see about principles of insurance. At most, good faith. A contract of insurance is a contract of bear me fidi, that is of utmost good faith. Both insurer and insured should display the utmost good faith towards each other in relation to the contract. Next principle is insurable interest. This principle requires that the insured must have an insurable interest in the subject matter of insurance. Next we are going to see about indemnity. This principle is applicable in case of fire and marine insurance only. It is not applicable in the case of life, personal accident and sickness insurance. Next, contribution. This principle of contribution is a correlate to the doctrine of indemnity. It applies to any insurance which is a contract of indemnity. 
so the right of contribution arises when there are different policies which relate to the same subject matters the policies cover the same period which causes the loss all the policies are in force at the time of loss one of the insurers has paid to the insured more than his share of loss next principle principle of subrogation the doctrine of subrogation is a corollary to the principle of indemnity and applies only to fire and marine insurance according to this principle after the insured is compensated for the caused by the damage to the property insured by him so the rights of ownership to the church property passes to the insurer after setting claims of insured in respect of covered loss next principle of causa promixa causa promixma means pro procrastinate cause or cause which is in narrate an unbroken series of events is responsible for loss or damage at last the last principle is mitigation of loss an insured must take all responsible care to reduce the loss we made act as if the property was not insured some of the examples related to mitigation of loss if a house is insured against fire and there is a accidental fire the owner must take all responsible steps to keep the loss minimum next we going to see about double insurance double insurance is a type of insurance where the same subject matter is insured more than once in such cases the same subject is insured but with different insurers the method of double insurance is considered as a legal act features of double insurance subject matter is insured with two or more insurance companies the insured can claim the amount from the policies the insurer cannot claim more than the actual loss double insurance also follows the basic principle of insurance thus a double insurance allow for unjust enrichment the insured next reinsurance reinsurance is a insurance for insurance companies it is a way of transferring some of the financial risk insurance companies assume in insuring car homes and businesses to another insurance company the reinsurer there are some types of reinsurance facultative coverage reinsurance treaty proportional reinsurance non proportional reinsurance excess of loss reinsurance risk attaching reinsurance loss occurring coverage next it in insurance every insurance company should establish an it framework involved in latest analytics and automation and take effective steps to prevent it so data analytics is applied to detect fraud and predictive analytics help in improving the entire fraud detection process by preventing claims payouts thank you